Now back to Tom and Dave out at Armageddon Academy. They're going to continue your AR education. Grab a notepad and pencil. Take it away, fellas. Hi, I'm Tom Fuller here with Dave Steinbach. Today we're going to talk about transitioning from your primary to secondary weapon, or in this case, your carbine to your pistol. You know, your primary weapon is your primary weapon for a reason, and keep that in the fight whenever you can. But there are times where you may have to transition, or you may want to transition to your secondary weapon. Dave, talk about some of the, some of the situations where that may be the most effective way to go. Yep, absolutely. If you find yourself, uh, you know, in a close-in fight somewhere with, a, with an engagement, uh, and I don't, the loudest click in the, in the world is an empty gun in the middle of a gunfight, uh, I don't really have the time or the luxury at this point to do a mag change when it's faster for me to get my pistol into the fight. That's right. It, some of the things uh, I also think about is, you know, uh, if you're not in an immediate threat and you can do a mag change quick, yeah, keep your primary weapon in a fight, but if you have a malfunction where you would have to go from immediate action to remedial action, uh, that's also another time you might want to pick your pistol and move yourself to cover, something like that, right? Yeah, absolutely, certainly. Yep. Dave, uh, I was, uh, I know you, we've, we've worked together for a long time, and I know you had a situation where you actually had to go to your secondary. Yep, I was uh, I was on a rooftop in uh, in Iraq, uh, actually in Baghdad, and I had a uh, guy grab my long gun up on the roof. Didn't see him there. He got hold of my long gun and uh, forced me to go to my pistol. And uh, yeah, having my pistol at the same place and had knowing where it was at all the time, every time, allowed me to get to it because I was in a, a very uncomfortable situation. Right. Well, well, tell us, you know, you're, it's in the dark, you can't see anything, uh, you had a sudden adrenaline rush, you, obviously you were able to muscle memory, go right to your pistol and, and pull it out. What are some considerations when you're training, when you're thinking about setting your kit up, things like that that's, that uh, you should consider? I mean, a lot of guys, unfortunately, if this is your primary weapon, this is the majority of a training time spent on it, uh, and maybe not as much on your pistol, but what are some things you need to think about to be able to get there and effectively I'll tell you some key things for me, because I, like you said, I've seen a lot of guys who don't really think about their setup on their kit, their pistol. And you see a lot of guys, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. And a lot of uh, people will, will, will rock basically the, the thigh holster. That puts your pistol down in the lower position. It's next to your hand, certainly, but now I have a moving target. I never really know where it's going to be from one step to the next. It's constantly on the move. As to where putting it on my hip, I know where it's going to be close to my pocket. A lot of guys will even work themselves and paint themselves in the corner because they'll wear it on their hip high like this. And this setup works great right now. But let's face it, if I put my, my MSAP on and my side armor and a pistol rocking high like this, it could impede my ability to get my pistol out. So I train like this slick and I think I'm good to go. And then I put on some kit, maybe not so much. Okay. Well, let, let's demonstrate the time difference between changing a mag and going to your secondary. All right, Tom. Rifle magazine change. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Pretty slick. That's three three eight. Let's try uh, transitions. Rifle to pistol. Okay. Here we go. Shooter ready. Stand by. That was a, a useful little drill just to kind of show the time difference. And and you know uh, a mag change really doesn't take a long time. And it, we only saved a little over a second there going to pistol. But when you look at it this way, a second's a very, very long time under fire. And going from roughly three and a half seconds to two and a half seconds, that's still about 30% faster. Uh, so that is, a, that is a significant time saving when, uh, when you're in a stressful situation and during an immediate threat. Yeah, absolutely. And it's one of those things you have to train on. It's not something you can go out there and just keep your kit there and think, well, when I need it, I'll pull it out. Right. You have the rest of your life to get that gun into the fight. Yep. And, and talking about training on it, you know, we used the shot timer, and it gave us a, a very accurate representation of, of uh, you know, exactly how long it took from shot to shot. It's a great training tool. Talk a little bit about how, how we use this in our training. Uh, this is an awesome tool. I use this a lot, actually, because I set my par times. And the cool thing is I can set my random start times, so I don't always know when the buzzer's going to go off. I'll just keep my kit somewhere behind me and I'll set my part time for whatever drill I want to do. And it's great because I have a good representation of whether I'm improving or whether I'm not. Right. You know, obviously I know if I'm getting better or not, but I can feel it right here. And right. I can see it. Yep. It's a very useful tool. And, you know, like anything, I mean, all the things that, uh, you know, go into training and being able to use these weapons uh, properly requires a lot of training. And that's the one thing if we left it, you know, going magazine change, just that alone requires a lot of training. Remember your ergonomics, and that rolls right into the transition. It's a lot of the same uh, factors you're going to think about 
for going to secondary weapon ergonomics, where's it at? Can you find it in muscle memory? So those are the kind of things that, uh, guys, you got to get out there and train and get on the range and just have some fun. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment Systems, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Sword USA, US Optics, Mayflower Tactical, Arbros, Keltec, Dark Angel, Black Hills Ammunition, Yeti, Aimpoint, Wiley X, and Wilson Combat. Everyone here at Trigger Time TV would like to dedicate this show to all of the Trigger Time TV fans and viewers that enjoy the show from around the globe. We appreciate your support.